What up, though? CC doing the most. 99 Jams, Miami's number one for hip hop and R&B. Also, part of the Let's Talk Battle Rap and, pop and Battle Rap. But today is a special day because anybody that know me know I'm a Battle Rap junkie. And I got one of the goats in Battle Rap, the face of the West. Also, three-time champion of the year, a.k.a. Cody, which is one of the highest yeah. awards you can get in the yeah. culture. He got three in them things, yeah, okay? Yeah, come on. Yes, we got Geechee Gotti in the mo yeah. building. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you already know it's love. It's love. Quick, quick uh, correction. Face of battle rap, not just the West. Right? Oh, excuse you know me. East, West, North, South. You feel me? You know, we ain't gonna get no more, you know? You better talk, Geechee. <laughs> we here, man. How y'all doing, man? Appreciate you having me. 99 Jams, what's up? Let's talk battle rap. No, it's love. Yes, yes, yes. And for those who may not know you, what is bringing Geechee Gotti this battle rapper? What is you yeah. doing in the 305 this weekend? Yeah, I'm here uh, for a few reasons. Uh, my God, Fred, M3S3, as you know, we do a lot of work together. You know what I'm saying? Black business, man. So, you know, we uh, we got a riot. M3S3, no studio on weekend. You know what I'm saying? So, Friday night, private bowling event. You know what I'm saying? Where we invite a few people just to have some fun, break the ice before we had a performance at uh, Hollywood Live. Mm. It's a club out here performing some of my new music that's on the way. Some of my, my hits that's already out there. That we doing so uh shout out to them for having me then uh saturday the three on three tournament this is like they were six annual they they had it a few times i participated last year so it made me want to get more involved you know what i'm saying so this year you know i kind of collab with them to try to bring it to life a little bit bigger mm -hmm. more eyes on it we're gonna have it live stream for the people to watch it and things like that to be able to keep up with the game so it's a three on three tournament on saturday sunday riot <laughs> rap battle you know what i'm saying <laughs> You busy. Rap battles, yeah. We got battles going up on Sunday. A lot of names on the card: Swamp, uh, JC, Di, the Henny Man, Don Marino, a lot of mayors. A lot of cats on the card that's, that's really doing dope. a lot of work, and then a lot of local talent too that's gonna be there as well. So like, yeah, we just uh we working all weekend. You know what I'm saying? Working all weekend. Shout out my guy Grimo Chaos too. You know what I mean, did a record with him yesterday, shot the video okay. and everything as soon as we got off the plane. Like we out here for sure. That's what's up. What is one thing you love about Miami? When you come here, the ladies like. Oh, you better <laughs> stop! You a married man now. You better I, look. Yeah, I can say that though. You know what I'm saying? You, you can look. You know what I'm saying? My situation <laughs> a little different, man. Oh. You know what I'm we might invite her in with it. Oh, you know? wow. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? But uh, no, nah, that's, uh, besides that, though, just uh, being all serious, all jokes aside, I just feel like the uh, the energy, man, I like the like the nightlife here. I like, you know, just the, the beaches. The, mm -hmm. You know, it's a vibey place, a lot of fun. You can have fun, you know what I'm saying? So it's a nice, you know, I just I just like the, the, the scenery. Kind of like California's already lit up and sunny as well. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of homey to us when we come here. Yeah, you know what it's I'm like a good transition yeah, without exactly. it being like. Without it being like a culture shock. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, man, what the hell? This shit that, looks crazy. And you don't have to worry about, like, bringing coats and stuff. Because, nah. you know, a lot of y'all can't, you know. Yeah. If it gets below 60, y'all start crying. Yeah, we start tripping, you feel <laughs> me? It was just hot and raining, like, 10 minutes ago. So. Oh, welcome yeah. to Florida. <laughs> you feel me? So, like, yeah, but, yeah, besides that, yeah, that's what I love, man. I just love the energy here, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Just the dope, it's dope culture, the food, everything. Mm -hmm. I rock with it. That's what's up. And it seems like you're going to get a lot of love tonight yeah. at Hollywood Live. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm yeah. definitely going to pull up. Yeah, yeah. If they listen and pull up, make sure you're there. It's going to be a movie. It's going to be lit, man. We got some dope performances. Got a couple special people that's going to jump out as well and, you know, do their thing. Then after that, we just going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to have a whole night just full of performances and things of that nature. You know what I mean? We're going to make sure they got time to hit their sections up, pop their bottles, have fun. Turn up, but definitely, man, we're gonna we're gonna slow it down for a minute, and then we're gonna rock out, man. Let them hear, you know, what I'm saying what we coming with. For sure. So, is there any Florida artists, whether yeah. like mainstream, underground, independent, you would like to work with from Florida? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna say Yak off the top. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of him. I rock with it. You know what I'm saying? How he give it up? So, like, yeah, that'll be somebody dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I just like cast us from the trenches. You know what I'm saying? That that made their way out. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So. He'll be the first name that pop up to mind, but like I'm familiar with a lot of the artists that's out in Florida, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, definitely off the top of my head, for sure, for sure, if you got it. That's what's up. Well, we're going to talk about the M3S3 tourney in a little bit, mm -hmm. but first, let's get into some battle rap, yeah. and you've been making some noise. You hit man and easy. Yeah. You know, you're the one in the middle. Talk about, oh, I bet hit man. Yeah. I bet easy. Yeah. And the fans... 
I, I'm one of them. I feel like y'all is playing with my battle rap spirits, okay. my battle rap feelings, <laughs> okay? Because y'all keep talking about battling, but we want it now. Yeah, right, so right. what is going on with these two potential classics? I think it's just timing on, on, on both parts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I've been working on the album. I've been in album mode, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, we trying to get that put together. I know, like I say, Hitman, he got the... The bags and bodies, the bags and baddies, TV shows he's working on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. He got a lot going easy, you know, he doing what he doing. I'm seeing him in the media game a little bit more, too, doing interviews and stuff. So, he sure is. Yeah, so I think it's just, like, timing. Everybody just want that timing to be right. I feel like the timing will happen this year. Like, like if it's up to me, I'll say this year. Like, we done been in talks. I will say a few leagues done hit us up, multiple leagues done hit us up, and we even discussed doing it on our own, you know, and just, you know, betting on ourselves and bringing that, you know, content to the people our own platform you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's a lot of different ways it could happen a lot of people want to see it on no summer madness it Mets gotta house. be a big card yeah, they want the big, they don't want you like put that. it on yeah. no what it was yeah. some uh battles they were doing for a little bit on, on caffeine roofs and shit uh, like that right now nah. not uh -oh. no light work what was not it no light work uh, um super fight super fights, nah, don't y'all yeah, dare yeah, yeah, nah, nah, <laughs> hell no nah, we ain't doing that for sure Super fight finally we got the budget, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh like nah, but I think yeah, we want it to be something big, you know what I mean? Like where everybody can be there, where everybody can support it, you know what I'm saying? But I know, mm -hmm. you know, it's the politics of like what league and who gets the battle, all of that. So, you know, we just dealing with that right now, but it's definitely for sure, for sure. One of the two will go down this year, if not both. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so sure. we can't, you know, we can't be too greedy, y'all. Yeah, you know, if we could get one of these yeah. battles in 2023, yeah. I think it would be a successful year that's in a, battle rap. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, everybody thinks of success when it comes to battle rappers. Yeah. It's like winning Cody, champion mm -hmm. of the year. Mm -hmm. So we just crowned your guy, yeah, Rum Nitty, as... Nitty. Cody 2022 well deserved. Off top. Yeah, you deserve that every time. Man. Yes. Fire. Mm hmm. Did he get his belt yet? I don't know. Did he? I need to ask him. Man. I'm real. I need to tune in with him about that. I never yeah. even asked him, man. Did he get the belt? I know he did. He got the ceremony, so I'm thinking he got the belt because I remember okay. he did do the whole ceremony as far as the, you know, Jay Black. They bring the cupcakes out. They give you the money, cash, <laughs> money, fly you out. They might treat mm. you real good. So, you know, salute Jay Black and them. But uh, if I'm mistaken, he might got the belt, man. He might. If he don't, I know it's going to come pretty soon. Hurry up, Jay Black, if you yeah, have not sure, <laughs> But sure. now, you know, I've been seeing chef trez was talking about he's mm. he's planning on having a cody-esque year okay. your boy nicks yeah i've been seeing them talking mm, yeah. that just battle disaster yeah, a lot of people like twerk what are you doing this year twerk yeah. is getting a lot of early cody uh -huh. you know nominees yeah. Even so, Miss Hustle, I think they're giving her. Oh, uh, Miss Hustle, I, mean, I could throwing her name in there. Yeah, sure. shout out to Miss Hustle. Mm -hmm. She ended up number 14th on Cody yeah, for last year you know and just just missed it yeah. for Wody. For Wody's, yeah, that's crazy. I that's mean, it really could have gone yeah, either way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I thought she actually was gonna win. To be you honest. thought so? Yeah. It was tough. I mean, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. It was a lot of weeks where I was like, yo, I don't know, we give enough credit for hustles yeah. year but yeah. it really was like a 1a 1b situation yeah, one of those, yeah. like, kind of you know, like with yeah. you and shine like yeah. one of those years it literally could have went to either you mm -hmm. or shine that's a fact that's a fact so. it, it'd be it'd be like that when they get close like that you know what i'm saying when they both have a lot of impact mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying both were real consistent you know what i'm saying so i I don't think in that one or two spot, it should be like no real argument. They both had a great year. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Jazz deserved it. So did Miss Hustle. Yeah. Like I, think it was, I think everybody knew it was out of them too. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I mean, she's looking good. Hustle yeah. for 2023, especially after the... she. I got her beat in Tay Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Me too, me I don't too. care what you yeah. men say. Yeah, me she she beat that. Tay Rock. She and now she's doing a Netflix special, which is crazy. Bye. Bye. So Tay shout out to Hustle. She's working. She working. Yeah, so how do you feel about what you, whether you have it in your mind, mm -hmm. you haven't revealed what you want to do this year? Like, yeah. how do you see Cody for 2023? Oh, yeah, man, it's going to be a fight this year. I feel like a lot of people now is more taking aim at it. You know what I'm saying? I think in the past years, you know, people would try to be like, oh, I'm not going for it. And then I win a belt and it's like, oh, man, now they looking crazy. Like, yeah, I'm going to keep stacking the money, man, every time y'all play. So I think this year, like after they seen how Nitty got it, I done won it, 
three times. It's like, you know, I think now more people are like, yo, we got to take the belt from the West. We got to try to <laughs> stop them ESB. Y'all hogging the yeah, belt. Yeah, we hogging all the belts. <laughs> ESB getting the ball. So they, I think now you're starting to see a lot more. That's why you see the Chef Trez is going crazy. You see Twerk back focus next. He an ESB West dude, but uh -oh. just knowing he just, you know, he in the running though. So he working. Yeah. You got to keep fighting for it. You got, like I say, Miss Hustle, EFB, you got it. So we still got candidates. Myself, I'm balling out this year. Nitty already starting crazy. So it's like Danny every year. He's in the running top yes, five somewhere. Is. Swamp having a great year. So it's a lot of battlers. I think now that's more going for it. Like, like last year was a tough pick as well. Like Nitty deserved it, but like Shug, Swamp, Easy, you know, all of those dudes was having great years last year. Danny, everybody, JC, you know what I'm saying? It's all the way down to surf. Like even though he got mm -hmm. locked up. Free the way. You know what I'm saying? Free the way. He, he was in the running. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like so. Like, I think now you're starting to see the competitive nature where it's like, yo, from the beginning of January all the way to December, they talking you about got it. To. They talking about it. So I think it's going to be real competitive. It might be one of the tougher years this year when mm -hmm. it comes to deciding on who win it, for sure, for sure. Right. For sure, for sure. So what you do with that 20K you just won off of Bad News? Oh, man. You, know <laughs> you got it on you? No, yeah. yeah, yeah man, Can no, I hold a little man, stuff, you know so? <laughs> You feel me now? I just chilled out. Shout out John John and them, though, man. You know, I think mm -hmm. that was a dope battle. A lot of people didn't expect it to be what it was, you know what I'm saying? So shout out Bad News, you know what I mean? He put it together like he's supposed to in that battle. Miko Hardman, shout out him for, you know what I'm saying, betting on him and being stand-up and being 100, you know what I'm saying? Like, like solid brother right there. Like, it was just a dope event, period. Like, I was just glad to be a part of that, to be real. Like, uh, that was my first time battling on bullpen. Mm. I done battled in Atlanta so many times, and I'm like, you know, this is the staple Atlanta league right here, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it was like, that's why I showed up the way I did. Like, I don't want to... Let the they fans be the because they got their own fan bases like mm -hmm. people that really just go to bullpen events. He got his own roster, so salute to what he doing. I'm like, let me make sure I, you know, make sure bro get his money's worth everything. That when I pull up, you know, what I'm saying, and make sure I ain't just come here looking like I'm just coming for a check or just playing. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, I enjoyed it, man. That was fire. That's cool. That's dope. So, what is your current end game in battle rap? Because I feel like you've already. Yeah reach the end game right. yeah, now yeah. it's just now i'm just doing side missions yeah, just side fun mission. with it. the end game is just to keep elevating the game mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying continue to show them elevation and growth like i think since i came in the game i've been one of the battlers that just showed them growth and things like you know what i'm saying like a lot of these battlers can attest to that like teaching them about their business showing them different business models on how to like you know just brand themselves showing them how to negotiate showing them how you're supposed to carry yourself when you're at these events you know what i'm saying like as far as just the lifestyle of looking like, you know what I mean? More than just somebody that's just showing up, shirt dingy, dirty shoes, jumping out of uh, goddamn sprinter vans that the company picked up. Like, you know, we pulling up in nice whips. Well, we dress nice when we on stage. We pulling up with our own peoples and everybody with us. So that's one of the steps that I took. Now you seeing everybody doing that. You go to these events now, there's hundreds of battlers <laughs> coming out with, with, you know what I mean? They're getting their names on their chains. They're getting mm -hmm. rental cars and getting uh, You Airbnbs. did play a part in the evolution yeah, of sure. the appearance Everything, of a battle rapper. Yeah, for sure. Because I've been around battle rap since Summer well, Madness 1. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie, some of y'all favorites come on. were never, dusty. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. We made them step it up, made them figure it out. I ain't made gonna them lie. Get it together. Now everybody got on designer shoes and everybody go, on. it's nice though. We like it. Cause that's what we came for. We came to do that though, to show them like, man, you ain't gotta look like you still rapping in the hallway. Okay. Now, you know we on that. So like now I think the next step is to just continue to show them like, yo, we can do other things outside of it. Like I think I, I followed the blueprints of the Arsenals and the John Johns mm. and the Smacks and them by starting the own league and like pushing that and trying to help up and comers but i think now is to try to like elevate and like find new ways to make battle rap fun because i think smacking and, and and remy and arp they already got the game sold up as far as just strictly having the big league you know what i'm saying mm. like i don't think it's too many new people that's just gonna be at a point no matter how much money you pour into it that's just gonna make your league pop i think now it's about like doing something innovative you know what i'm saying doing something new like like that's why i salute what hitman did with the tv show you know stuff like that so that's my mm -hmm. next goal is to try to turn something up like with that you know what i mean like get into more filming with it you know doing some things differently to kind of help you know the up-and-coming talent you know that's my next goal with this you feel me well speaking of up-and-coming talent who do you think in the future mm -hmm. is gonna call you out mm -hmm. as part of their end game because every battle rapper always comes yeah. in saying this like this is my end game usually yeah. it's like the mooks and the lugs yeah, like that's my end game battle yeah. 
Somebody's yeah. gonna say, get yeah. you Gotti, and they gonna gun for your oh, ass. For sure, for sure. <laughs> they gonna say, get yeah, your old sure, ass out for here. Sure, for sure. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot, you know what I'm saying? In a minute, you know what I'm saying? They probably, like, right now, I'm just so active still. Mm -hmm. I think once I scale back and doing other things and things like that, when they can really just sit back and now look at me, like, for, you know, for that, then, then that's when it's gonna happen. But there's a lot of the younger cats that tell me all the time, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? And not like younger in age, but like younger in the battle rap game, you know what I'm saying? That tell me all the time, like, yo, you the one I want to battle, like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you somebody I look up to, or right? you the reason I battle. I done heard that from countless dudes. So I, I'm, I'm just waiting on them, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting on them to I finally think it's going to be a little slap. Yeah, it might be. He's going to go for your ass when he grown. Yeah. He's going to be like six, five and grown, mm -hmm. grown man muscles. And he going to be like, yo, be bitch, you got to bring your ass up. I'm going to come off the porch like Rocky or something. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop him out like he Tommy Gunn in the street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out Lil Slap, though. I think Shout he definitely the future. You know what I'm saying? Him mm -hmm. and all those, like, that generation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, what, 12, 13? So, like, he ain't got nothing. He growing up fast, yeah. Geechee. Before yeah. you know it, he going to be graduating yeah. from high school. Yeah, he going to be the one. <laughs> Driving. For sure. For sure. Well, for sure. Um, before we talk about yeah. the MS. M3, M3 S3, S3. tourney. Yeah. I definitely saw something, mm -hmm. and I don't like to get into the drama and the petty yeah. stuff, but I gotta ask what's okay. going on with this. Okay. What's going on with you and Gwitty? To be honest, man, nothing. Like, he not even like nobody that's really <laughs> on the level of me and nothing like that. I just be seeing shit that I think fans tell me little shit that people be saying half the time. I don't even be knowing what they be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mm -hmm. not one of the dudes who get on like these, uh, battle rap platforms and uh like bring up other battlers and shit like so i think he was in the interview and just something to bring me up or brung up a gang of battlers and just was running his mouth so they they end up tagging me yo geechee da, 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 you know <laughs> it's me, yeah it's always something he's talking about you, he's talking about you, you know what i'm saying <laughs> but for the most part dudes like that just be wanting battles and things like that i was gonna you ask you do you think he's yeah. just trying to bait for a battle with you he yeah. saw you battle bad yeah. news and he probably was like ooh. Yeah. Maybe yeah, but it's if a way I start to do barking, it though, but I like, can give me opportunity. Yeah, but that's the thing about the culture. It's always a way to do it. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, it ain't even that. Like, get the lead, get the money, get the talk, the talk battle rap shit. When you get to talking things outside of battle rap, then, yeah. you, then you can't get mad at the consequence. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like you can't get mad at what, how somebody react to it and then be like, oh, it's just battle rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I do stuff outside of battle rap, so I don't really consider myself that's like just a battle rapper like he probably just a battle rapper so all mm -hmm. he thinking is like everybody's reacting to battle rap but like i don't yeah. like, you know what i'm saying like that's not me you feel i can me? see what you're saying yeah you feel me right so he'll be all right man <laughs> he'll be all right <laughs> <laughs> he'll be all right man you feel me okay and one more question about battle rap is there mm -hmm. anything you can drop maybe an exclusive breaking yeah. news ltbr yeah. style Okay. of something that's coming up with you in battle rap that oh, you yeah. haven't spoke on yet oh yeah uh i will be on double impact this year and i have a new partner like you know what I'm saying? yeah so like shout out nitty but i think he teaming up with twerk so i had to go get me a new partner you know what i'm saying so not swamp nah man and i yeah not swamp who else i had not be that yeah be saying? that yeah, okay so it'll be something new and are they you from the man? west uh, nah, they not from the west. Okay, so that eliminates some people. Yeah, they from the east. And, and I got another. East. Yeah, and I got another uh female battle that I'm gonna do this year too. For real, I don't think people know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got another, another big female. Well, I ain't gonna lie, Geechee, I still think that Jazz beat show. You do? I got Jazz beating you yeah. by edge. Yeah, you're in a minority. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too many men's in this culture that is not keeping it. We up just watched our battle back though uh, the other day, so I think they're gonna drop that on caffeine, man. Like uh, we just watched it back the other day. I just know if you said that because a lot of people felt like I took it light on it. But I think when we just watched it back the other day and, and she was even able to test it, it was like, nah, I wasn't taking it light on her. I really was on her. No, head. you was yeah. on her because you did a good job, like with mm -hmm. some of those angles about stuff, her yeah. being a cop mm -hmm. that it was like oh yeah, okay because yeah. you know like sometimes with those old angles it gets to a point where sometimes like, mm -hmm. fans are like okay what else What else? Exactly. but i felt like a lot of that was hidden it was hidden yeah so we had a good time i think it's just like I, we we watched it i think it was we was we went last main event on that mm -hmm. that crowd so they was kind of tired and a lot yeah. of the fans judge it off a of crowd reaction so like when you watch it without worrying about the crowd you can see the material from both was still like dope like that it no y'all both yeah. did y'all thing most definitely well, shout out jazz i'm gonna have to kick her ass again since you were oh! <laughs> that's what you are talking about <laughs> i'm gonna let nitty get her in oh, you know dang. 
<laughs> then he created her, man. Belt versus belt. Belt yeah. versus belt. Mm -hmm. Kings versus queens. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, y'all can see we just added a new addition. Some of y'all may know him. If you don't, definitely introduce yourself to the people. You know what it is, man. It's Fred with M3S3. Men make moves. Sucker stand still. We in the building. No studio in. Uh, riot. M3S3 weekend. We doing it big. For sure, for sure. So, Geechee, you you guys are doing something big in the 305 Saturday, April 29th, right? Mm -hmm. So, y'all got the basketball tournament. Yeah, so, right. you want to talk about that a little bit? I heard Geechee got a team. Yeah, I got a team. Who's on your team? Oh, man, I got some of my guys, man, straight out of my neighborhood, straight out of Compton, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? My guy CJ, my guy Cash, KJ, whoa, whoa, Corday, whoa, whoa. big man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got, I got a team of just real dudes who are going to come get this money, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have you a feeling y'all going to be the ones squabbling for the ball all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we gonna come and get this paper, man. We grew up playing in Double Rock Gym and shit in Compton, man. We know how to hoop. We gonna get it, man. We did good last year, too, the team I had. We actually did, did pretty good. Did Got a couple really. of wins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was great. there last year, Fred, mm -hmm. and it definitely was an interesting event to see some of these battle rappers because you know, Geechee's. Y'all yeah. use sports mm -hmm. in your material. Mm -hmm. Analogies, you know, punches, all that stuff, schemes. Mm -hmm. But some guys i ain't gonna name no names some of them guys weren't nice with the ball that's what i'm gonna say <laughs> they were not that nice with the ball just stick to the pen okay one name mm -mm. <laughs> i'm not gonna y'all knew you know these guys are sensitive i ain't saying nothing right, right, y'all right, sensitive right. i'm gonna keep it to myself but right. talk a little bit about the tournament uh, yeah, so this is our sixth annual tournament um you know every every year we like to you know throw a tournament to, to involve the community get the culture together you know, um, just bringing everybody together under one roof, doing some good black business, involving things that we all interested in, and just combining it. You know, you know, so, you know. People say if you if you do something that you love to do and you make it, you know, a form of income, you you won't feel like you're working ever. So you know, we love battle rap, we love basketball. You know, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of black business in there, like clothing brands. No studio ain't gonna have their brand in there for sale. For sure. M3S3 gonna have their brand in there for sale. A lot of other dope black owned uh, vendors in there. It's gonna be some buy, sell, trading with a uh, uh, sneaker company in there. So it's gonna be dope. We just combining everything under one roof. That's dope. That's dope. So uh, who all got teams? We talked a little bit about Geechee's. Who else got a team? So M3S3, we got a team. Um, Daylight, he got a team. DNA got a team. Um, Hollow the Don got a team. Hollow the Don got a team. Easy to block captain. Easy got his team. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then a couple of local cast right as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, some local battle rappers too got a team. And then there's also a, a, a team, I believe, to do played with uh, Ball is Life. I forget his name. Uh oh. Yeah, it's one of those. So um, that's going to be dope. So with all these teams, what's the, what's the prize? Yeah, we're giving them 3,000 trophies, mm. uh, some Apple earpods, or, you know, what they call it, AirPods? AirPods. AirPods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, uh, merch from M3S3 and no studio in. Um, and then they also get uh, tickets into the next event, which is that Sunday, um, the Riot event, the Riot Battles. So, okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's yeah, up. So yeah, they're getting a lot, man. You get cash, you get trophies you get uh, some apple <laughs> products you get some clothes and you get free entries into the battle but you know what i'm saying i think the dope thing about it like he said uh is it just keep growing from year to year you know what i'm saying like for me seeing where it grew from the last year me being a part i can only imagine you know how it continues to grow from six years to now so like the goal is to just keep getting more people to come out more awareness you know what i'm saying you get the everybody like he said got a lot of black businesses in there being able to get their merch off and get their food off and get their everything that they selling you know what i'm saying it was just like a network space for people to just you know come have a good time as well a lot of these hoopers you know what i'm saying have been hooping you know what i mean and just getting a chance to run across each other some of these dudes been running across each other in those uh, in the circuit of basketball in different cities and states for mm -hmm. years getting to run back into each other again so i think that's also what's dope about it and then you know just the battlers being able to see if some go i'm not playing i'm coaching some oh, battlers, okay. so, some battlers might play. You know what I'm saying? Like last mm -hmm. year, I played. You know what I'm saying? I think T Rex coached and mm -hmm. Daylight played and then Surf played. You know, so some play, some coach. Who got crossed I mean? over last year? 
Uh, I think that was the year, was it? Uh, Cortez got across that year. When we was, uh, Who was it? It was um. Was it Seth Trez crossed him with some hitman? Somebody got crossed over, got their ankles broke last year. <laughs> she knows she doing. I forgot who it was, <laughs> but it was hilarious because hip hop is real. Shout out to them. Yeah. They had <laughs> recorded it and every it just went crazy yeah. on the timeline. I gotta look that up again. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> that was wild. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else? Uh, can anybody just pull up to this? Like, how can people get yeah, to yeah. the? It, uh, it's open game. to the public. Mm -hmm. Um, you could buy your tickets on Eventbrite, or you know, you could just pull up and pay at the door. Um, everybody's welcome. Okay, where is it gonna be at? Um, it's at a gym called Chasing Success in mm. in um in uh, Miramar. Chasing Miramar, success. Miramar, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had we, we uh we had another gym that was locked in, and you know we got notified on Sunday that it, you know we had the flood out here. So, oh yeah, yeah, we got flooded so, bad. So that, that gym got you know that gym got flooded, so we just had to make the move. Mm -hmm. And you know, we got with Chasing Success. They they hosted us last year. They understood the situation and just got right back on track. That's what's up. That's mm -hmm. what's up. And you say uh the winners will get tickets for Sunday's event. Yeah. Are you battling? I'm hosting this. You hosting, one. hosting okay. You just gonna be hosting. Yeah. We got JC versus Black Aladdin. We got D.I. the Henny Man versus The Spot. L.I. the Mirror versus Don Marino. Swamp, mm. versus, Swamp versus Bars Major. Mm. Paze versus Franchise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Javelli versus uh, God Body 400. So, yeah, we got a couple of battles on there. King Stokes versus Loyal Savage. And then King Stokes yeah. versus Loyal Savage. And we lost the battle. Uh, it was a two four two versus Merlo one hundred, mm. you know. But uh, they'll they'll make that battle up on the next card, which yeah, it was a uh, definitely a stack card though. It's gonna be dope. And at the and at the uh, event, it's gonna be some merch in there for sale and all that. It's, it's a bar, it's a VIP sections. You'll see tonight if you pull up to his his performance at mm -hmm. ten o'clock. You know, it, it's a dope little vibe in there. You got bottles, you got VIP, you got merch mm -hmm. being sold. It's it's gonna be fire. You know. And then if you're there too at the event, it should be a lot of battlers there. A lot of people saying they're gonna be in the building, so like uh, you never know who you're gonna see there. We know, like, you know, just confirming. It's like you got daylight out here, you got disaster out here, you got arsenal, you got a lot of cast that's you gonna be pulling up. So for like the up and coming battlers, it's gonna be their chance to kind of like show out in front of some bigger names, you know. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of them getting looks as well, you know what I'm saying? Like the names who are battling some of these dudes who've been in the game for a minute, you know what I'm saying? So like I mm -hmm. think it's gonna be a good mix of of like, you know, talent on this card, you know, like as far as like dudes who want to come up versus dudes who kind of established, but mm -hmm. just to see where everybody at, I think it should be dope. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a fun weekend in the 305. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I have yeah. to ask y'all, but if this is y'all time to plug yourselves, yeah. whatever you want to say, last words, uh, yeah. we can start with Fred. Okay. I mean, y'all know shot with us, m3srepareo.com. Um, right now, we we pushing the last of our varsity jackets, the collaboration that Empty Recipe and No Studio in. We got a uh, black and we got it in cream. Um, so, you know, definitely support, cop that. And we dropping new merch daily at www.m3recipeapparel.com. And shout out to everybody who's been supporting the movement and supporting everything me and Gotti have been coming together and doing this black business. Salute to y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Geechee Gotti. Uh, big announcement. We're going to be dropping a Lumagati 622. You know what I'm mm. saying? That's my birthday. So we're going uh, we gonna to drop it there. We're going to have a big album release party. We're going to have a lot of things going. Uh, new videos dropping. Right now, out of nowhere, too, it's still available on mm. all platforms. Run all those records up. You know what I'm saying? The Broken Miserable going crazy in the clubs. The Fuck Them Kids. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All that is going wild, you know. Never ever, you know what I'm saying? And all those is going crazy. So y'all make sure y'all turn them up. We gonna have some records too that you can put on so they can hear these joints all the way out here, man. And you know, and turn up to them. So that's what we performing tonight as well. So when they in the club tonight, man, when you in there, you'll be able to hear all this joint that we got going on. So yeah, that's the next thing. That's all we got going right now is just really focusing on the music. Like you said, we done already ran through battle raps and already did all that. We got this shit in the choco, so now we going to the next step, you know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, just grind more with this music every step of the way. The clothing as well, though, like you said, make sure you support all these brands, man. www.m3s3apparel.com, www.officialgeechigotti.com. We got the podcast still on lock, no studio and network. Tune in every Tuesday for that, every Sunday as well. You know, just, you know, keep rocking with us, man. You know how we do it, man. You feel me? That's it. Well, thank you both for pulling up here at 99 Jams. Again, 
I'm Cece doing the most. My Amy some born for hip hop and R&B. Also, let's talk battle rap. And that's it. We good.